What's up everyone, this is Tony from Wizard and I'm super excited to show you all latest features. If you do have received your invitation to the private beta, uh, you'll be able to do everything I'm going to show you today. So let's get to it. So log in your Wizard account, obviously, um, and first thing I want to show you is the update to the algorithm that processes the, your images. Um, some people call it AI, some people call it computer vision. So let's create a quick prototype for mobile. Um, as you already know, your wireframes are understandable by wizards, um, and it used to be that only sketches by hand uh, were usable. Now, even sketches that you would have drawn like this one on a tablet or on a software can also be used directly in Wizard. Um, so we can just put them all in there um, as if they were basically being drawn with the same platform. Now we'll let our amazing algorithm do the heavy lifting uh, and we should get already some pretty good results from the get-go. Cool. Now, if you have any doubt on what to draw and how to draw it, you can always make sure to check the cheat sheet right there. On the left, you have your list of your design system components, and you can pick anything and drag and drop it in the interface. If you want to just add a new button, you change your mind, you want to just add a slider or whatever. If you go back to the same menu on the left, you can select design system and here you can just basically switch between these different design system on the fly. I want to see how this app would look with a dark background uh, with a different style. I can just click select a different design system and see how it would look. Now, this is a big feature a lot of you have been asking for. You can now create desktop and web app in Wizard. But before that, let me show you the design system I've created for this example. If you go in design system, I could, as you can see here, pretty simple stuff. Two colors, shades of gray, a um, few different levels of typography, three different kinds of buttons, um, and then standard stuff. Um, okay, let's create our desktop prototype from this design system. So we'll go back to prototype, hit the create button, and now we can select desktop. I will make sure to pick my design system and hit create. Now, the same way you would do in, on mobile, you can drag and drop your wireframes. For example, this wireframe created with a tablet app. I put this in. Of course, the AI is not going to understand everything perfectly. This is a pretty complex sketch. Uh, but the goal of the algorithm is to just cover 80% and then I'll show you how to adjust the result uh, until you're satisfied. So let's wait for the conversion to go through. Here we are. So first thing, let's zoom in. If you select the container, you can adjust the alignment properties directly within the tool. So here I want them to be start left. Um, now I can swap different design system components. So I want to put titles in there and not just standard paragraph text. Here I have two line text. I want it to fit in one line. Um, there there is a wrong, the OCR didn't got the text. I want to swap this for header, same with this one, in one line. And now, a quick hack, if you select a component and double-click, then you will select the container, uh, and you can keep double-clicking until you have the parent container. Because here now I can change the layout, I want this to be a title as well. And I want this body of text to be one liners. In the footer, I also want to swap these buttons for the one with just a border. And here we go. 
Now we can also swap the images, something you've been waiting for a long time. You can just go ahead, pick some local images file and upload them. So here we're building a booking app, so I want to take some traveling pictures and I will do the same for all of them. All right, four to go. Almost there. Great. Already look, looks pretty good and closer to a real app. Oh, I forgot the icon. I'll use the wizard icon for this one. Awesome. No, that's pretty good, but uh, of course that's just one screen. Uh, if we if we are to build a, uh, a a prototype, we need more. Um, I will take this other wireframe. Um, remember, you can take pictures from your phone if you log in um, app.wizard.io on your phone. But here I will just drag and drop an image from my desktop. And if you rem if you forget how you can draw things, always refer to the cheat sheet. Same as before, we'll let the AI do the heavy lifting and we can fix all the things that needs to. Here, alignment is a bit off for this text. Um, I would like this to be a title. This should be aligned to the top. Um, let me fix the justification of that paragraph. This shouldn't be there, so we can just delete it. And same with, with, the, with the container. Now, the buttons in the footer. I want to modify the text of this one. and uh, Put it full width. Same here. Although here, I would actually define it as a secondary button just with a border style. Same with this one. And now, if you want to change the icon, you can either change the type of icon in there or just swap the style of the icon from your design system. I want those to be pink, um, to fit with the primary color that I defined in the design system. And now, what's left to be updated is the images. Almost there. Last one. Cool, let's zoom out to have an overview and that already looks much better. Um, if I want to create a new screen but I forgot to draw it or whatever, I can also create an empty artboard um, directly from Wizard. You can drag the component from the left panel and we have a starter kit that contains predefined elements. So here I'm on the login form I want this to be aligned both centered vertically and horizontally. And then I would like to update the text here. Okay, now I want, let's move the screen in the middle. Let's create some interaction. So if we go to the prototype mode, now I can literally just drag arrows from items to pages and build an interaction flow. Um, so this booking image to the detail booking and then the back button back to the home page. Now we can visualize this prototype straight into the browser. Um, everything here is HTML, so if I navigate to the new page, I can actually interact with the input field um, and the buttons and really anything there. And now I can also export this. So you already know Sketch and HTML CSS support. Now we have React as well and Vue and Angular and more to come. If you don't want to export the entire application code, you can go into the code mode instead um, and just explore the code project and copy and paste every pieces of code you, you might want to. 
Now, if you want to just check out the CSS, uh, if you want to change to look at the React install components, um, everything is there, ready to grab, modify, iterate, update. All right, one last feature I want to show you, and some of you have been asking for this for a long time as well. If you go into your account setting, scroll down a bit, you can turn on dark mode. A lot of you are using dark mode for your entire OS or your mobile phone. Now you can basically have the entire wizard app in dark mode. Um, so that's about it. Um, a lot of new updates are coming soon, so make sure to subscribe, sign up to the private beta if, if it's not already the case. And thank you and see you next time.